readers and welcome to break time today proverb is 16 3 which says commit to the lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed wow wouldn't we all love a no fail plan and here it is commitment 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 is one of those words that are it's it's losing its value in in the world that we live in and some of the systems and processes that we try to work through when things get tough what happens to our commitment it typically it falls apart committing means that you're making a covenant or a promise to be a person of your word commitment means that i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to do what i say that i'm going to do i'm going to follow through with the plans that i have that i have committed to following through with it's 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 a very deep word. It's not good intentions. It's so far beyond good intentions. We all have at times good intentions, but good intentions are exactly that. They're just good intentions. And one of the things about commitment is when what I tell people, when, you, when you've made a commitment and you cannot go through with your commitment, a true faith leader, a true person, a true person who's walking with with the Lord in their sight, seeking Him with all their might. We'll go back and make it right by asking forgiveness, walking through those steps by um, admitting that they are wrong. Instead of ignoring the process that you've made a commitment or instead of pushing it down or instead of avoiding people in the workplace, we see this a lot when we make a commitment and we fail to go through it. We sometimes try to avoid the people that we've made commitments with. Anyway, the, the, the Lord says we will succeed when we commit our plans to Him. It's like we come before the Lord and we covenant with Him first and foremost. And we offer Him our plans, the plans that first and foremost He has given us. And we commit them to Him. Lord, we all, we all realize that His ways are so much higher than our ways and if we can get that through our mind and understand that commitment is something that the Lord is, is looking and interested in and commitment comes from a place inside of our heart that we are allowing God to say yes and we are acknowledging and agreeing with God in the midst of our heart. And so it is a, it is a very deep word and I pray today that if you have failed in commitment to the Lord, that this will be a renewed day of commitment. If you have failed to those people that you're working with or in your family life, today will be a renewed day of commitment where you, once again, sign that, sign that contract with the Lord that here's my plans, Lord. I'm committing them to you because that's where success happens. Have a blessed day.